Comes up just a little bit shy there. Everything there. Phoenix else almost taken down. Oh, no. They get him with the auto attack, and first blood goes to Optic Gaming. Baron is secured. Optic's not even injured. Doakla's going to be on the front line. There's your engage coming out from Echo Fox, but it is not what they need. They're trying to turn around with Lorlo, but he's immediately bursted down. The laser fires off, but it's not required. Meteos grabs a killing spree, and Echo Fox heads for the hills. There's no salvation from a gold lead like this, and they are cut to pieces. Five for zero, Optic Gaming. Is it going to be enough to take this one away from Clutch Gaming, who are about to solidify their stance? on this game. Lorlo going out, good hits on the Phoenix. That's the killer instinct from Cody Sunny's into the middle of the fight. Apollo over the wall to try and do a bit more damage, but it's only oh! going to be a little bit. This could be the inside the park Penta coming in for Cody Sun. And just sub 30 minutes into the base now of Echo Fox. Good damage going over onto Hakuo as they hey! lose Rooney on the front line. Demonte now has his back turned. Everything in defense for Clutch, but Lyra says no. Turn and go. That's going to be damage as they take down Phoenix. Lorlo falls quickly after, and they're not going to need Demonte to follow up on the rest of the members of Echo Fox. Mike goes in the flag and drag, but it looks like he gets tagged by the minions as he gets taken down by Lyra and co. That's going to be the damage they need as well to take down Hakuo from the Great Health, almost on the power of Apollo, and Hakuo going down as Demonte goes for the house dive. That was one of the most one-sided games we have had all split. Like the first game versus Optic, I felt like it was going to be easy for us to show like the scrim performances on stage. The second game just felt harder, I think. I don't, I couldn't really put my finger on like the real reason. I, maybe it was just because we were uncomfortable with, like playing the comp we were playing. But um, yeah, it just felt like we weren't as confident with the team comp on the second day as the first day. I felt like, at least for me, the chances of winning the first day were, were really like way higher. And it was, was kind of just sad because we just we just fell short. Scrims are going well, so but at this point I don't really care about how scrims are going because like all I want to do is you know do well on stage. Like even if like you know we go undefeated in scrims or just like you know every day we do well in scrims, it doesn't matter if you can't replicate that in the end. So it's kind of like bad feeling that like we have this problem. Like a lot of teams say like there's a transition of like trans uh, transferring like. Um, Scrim performance is stage, but sometimes you just fall short, right? Sometimes you have a bad game, and that happens in scrims too. Sometimes you just you just play bad, and sometimes you play really good and you show it on stage, and that's just that's just how it is and how competition is. So I think it wasn't like a a big question mark. I think we just we just showed up and played bad that day, or those two days, and that's that's all we can take away from it. Yeah. Yeah, we are just okay. Just we yeah, we are just trying just training and just make a better system for do better execute on the stage. Like last week we did well about the scream over there, but since when we go to the stage, we are struggling about the how how make our macro or plans or how to do execute better. We just struggling about that. So this week we try to fix that problems. Individually, I feel like I've always been really confident and I've always performed really well in practice and in preparation. But I think this week, instead of focusing on, you know, what I'm doing in practice, I'm going to be trying to focus more on like envisioning how I'm going to be playing, you know, on stage matches. I feel that I'm just more fearful uh, on stage and I'm more, more scared to do my own thing. And that kind of feeling kind of controls my play and I don't play like myself. And this problem I've had for probably, you know, maybe a year now. But I didn't think this problem would come back, but it's something that I'm going to need to fix if I want to continue performing at a high level. And it's something I'm going to be working hard, working hard on this week. Yeah, I, I, I mean, regardless of individual performance, I want to just do players more focus and just don't too much get the pressure on the stage, I think. That's the most reason for the weird performance is not great on the stage. So I think just I'm trying to like understanding and just systemizing for the 
how to be just better executor on the stage. Um, this week has been kind of up and down for Echo Fox. It's been tough um, as an organization. And the thing we try to stress to our coaches, players, and staff is all the outside noise, you still got to go out there and play. And you got to lock in. And I think that our coaching staff has done a great job of preparing our guys for that. And I look forward to our guys getting out of competing. Yeah, the whole Echo Fox, like Shane Agans thing, I think uh, it depends on player to player. I think some players probably take it more like they get more stressed about it and just like think about it a lot more but for me it's like it's just another outside I guess source kind of thing it's like if media is talking about you badly or if like something else is talking about you badly and this time it's talking about our it's like our org right but for me it's just another thing that I just have to like put away unless it's like directly impacting uh, my state and my performance which it, would it, which it isn't right now and maybe it will in the future but for now it's like I have to focus on the present which is just playing the game to the best of my ability. If something jumbles up then I have to like switch and just maybe do like a meeting or talk to somebody about whatever like reasoning then I'll do that but I'm not going to worry about doing those things until uh, that's really upon me. Yeah I just try to just focus on whatever present day is doing for me and making sure that I learn a little bit more today than I did yesterday, so. And I think one thing that we've stressed the whole week is this isn't the end, um, this is a new beginning and it's exciting and everyone get out there and kind of show what we have for the future. 